and happy Sunday. It's teacher Michelle here to say hi. Um, I know that we all recently got promoted to a new grade and I wanted to say congrats on all your hard work this past year. Um, I know the circumstances look a little bit different now but there's still sufficient grace for us. There's overflowing grace for us to be able to do all things and anything through God. And so I wanted to say I believe in you guys. 또 우리 친구들 모두 각자의 자리에서 하나님을 만나고 또 하나님을 더 사랑하고 또 하나님에 대해 더 배우는 것에 힘쓰는 친구들 되기를 선생님이 응원할게요. Have an awesome service, everyone!
You guys sing, everybody get walking. Everybody get walking. Walking in the light. In every little space of every little minute of your life. Everybody get a living. Living more like him. Living more like him. And let the whole world know he has forgiven all our sins. This shall we count down. Four, three, two, one. Choose each day when you obey. Choose what's right in walking in the light. Choose each day when you obey. Choose what's right in walking in the light. Are you guys ready to say Jesus is the light? Everybody get walking. Walking in the light. In every little space of every little minute of your life, everybody get living, living more like Him, living more like Him, and let the whole world know He has forgiven all our sins. Five, four, five, four, three, two, one. Choose this day, will you obey? Choose what's right, get walking in the light. Say that again, Jesus. Jesus is the oh, I can't hear you guys. You have to be a little bit louder. Jesus is the light. Ooh, show me your best dance moves. Jesus is the light. Show me how you pray. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Hello boys and girls, hi! <laughs> How are you guys? I miss you guys. Boys and girls, I hope and pray that everyone is doing well and um, healthy. Okay, you guys need to stay healthy. So let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day where we could come together to worship, to pray, to listen to your word. I pray that you will pour your spirit upon us right now. We receive it by faith so that we will hear your voice and obey it. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, this is Jesus. <laughs> He and his disciples went to the countryside of Judea, and he oversaw them as they baptized the people. At the same time, John the Baptist. Hello. <laughs> people came to John the Baptist, and John baptized the people. These baptism were an outer sign for cleansing for people who had repented of their sin. And the follower of John came to John and asked, Teacher, remember the man you talked about? The one who was with you on the other side of Jordan River. He is baptizing people, and people are starting to follow him. John's followers were talking about Jesus. And John said, I told you. I'm not the Messiah. I am the messenger who goes before the Messiah to announce that he is coming. It was good that people were getting baptized and following Jesus. Jesus was the Messiah. He was the Messiah that God promised. So John told his disciples, I told you that I am not the Messiah. I am the messenger who goes before the Messiah to announce that he is coming. It was good that people were being baptized and following Jesus. That's what they were supposed to do. Jesus is the Messiah God promised. John told his followers to think about a wedding. When two people get married, the man who married the bride is called the groom. His friend stands with him at the wedding, and the friend is happy to be there and to hear the groom's voice. This is how John felt, like a groom's friend, and Jesus was the groom. John was happy that Jesus, the Messiah, had come. John also knew that a wedding is the groom's special day. The groom's friend should not make it about himself. John said, Jesus must become greater, and I must become less. John the Baptist understood who Jesus is and who John was. John explained how Jesus was greater than John. But why Jesus more important than John? Because John was from earth, and he could only explain what he saw on this earth. But Jesus was from heaven. He could explain the things about heaven because he had seen them. And John said, God sent Jesus to earth, and Jesus had God's word. Everything Jesus says is true, because God always tells truth. So John said, God the Father loves his son Jesus, and he, God, has given Jesus power over everything. So whosoever believes in him will have a life to live forever with God. But whoever does not believe in God will not live forever. God gave John the Baptist a special mission that is to tell people, get ready for the Messiah. And now Jesus came to earth and he started his ministry and telling people about things of God and heaven. Now John's job is finished because Jesus was here. It is really important to know who we are in God and who God is. Sometimes we think God is a genie in a bottle, that we ask for things by prayer and He has to give it to us and He has to follow our direction. But He is God. He is Almighty and we are not. We are His follower and God loves us. God loves us so much that He showed His love by sending His Son Jesus to us. And Him dying on the cross for our sin is greatest love of all. And who would do that? We are sinners. 
there is no good in us, but God chose to love us. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today's Bible story. Like how John the Baptist understood who he was and who God is, that we would want to know that who we are in you. We are your children and you love us so much. And Jesus is our Savior. And Lord, we thank you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And until we see each other again, I want you to have a wonderful week. You make the darkest run and hide. You bring the broken back to life. Only you can. Only you can. You set me free from every chain. You fill my heart with songs of praise. Only you